Hi guys, welcome back to the IMOT Forums, the Creative YouTube channel. Well, we all have been discussing about the pandemic crisis since the last few months and the strategies to mitigate it. Today's video is also about the same. Today, we are going to talk about building pandemic proof cities. So why wait? Let's start. The 21st century has seen its fair share of pandemics, starting with the SARS, the severe acute respiratory syndrome, the MERS, Middle East respiratory syndrome, the H1N1 virus, Ebola, and now the COVID-19. The coronavirus pandemic, although not as dangerous as the previous plagues and pandemics, has still exposed several weaknesses in our policy making, strategies, and decision making. The uncontrolled increase in the rate of infection of the disease can be attributed to several factors such as slow decision making, delayed implementation of social distancing, low rate of testing, low rate of communication and education towards the masses, high population density, unsanitary environment and habits of the people etc. While the infection rate increases, it's essential to figure out mitigation strategies to prevent future pandemics from crippling our society and the economy. Urban planning could play a crucial role in designing future cities which could withstand the brunt of infectious diseases and keep the economy running even in the worst of the worst situations. So first, zoning. Zoning coupled with regulation for maximum population per residential or commercial unit can help in reducing the population density. The proper planning can also enable the pedestrian access all basic commodities, thereby reducing the dependency of population over public transport. All basic commodities are to be planned such that Walking distance is not more than 1.5 kilometers from a cluster of residential zones. According to the governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, huge crowds in the subway stations and trains could have contributed to the drastic rise in the number of COVID-19 cases. Hence, it is essential to reduce the dependency of public transport and promote safer and environmentally friendly commuting such as walking, and bicycling. Wider pavements with bicycle tracks are to be built to enable social distancing. To promote the use of walking in pavements, it can be planned in such a way that tree canopies provide shade over the pavements. Second, more open spaces. Open spaces and water bodies play a huge role in uplifting the mental health of the people. Such spaces should be mandated not only in public but also as a part of residential units. With the significance of hygiene etched in the hearts of many people, this will be the right time to bring up public hand washing facilities in pavements, bus stops, railway stations, etc., preferably using recycled water. Now, third, localization. Localization of supply chains work wonders in boosting the local economy, reduces the time taken during transit and greatly eliminates the carbon emissions due to transport. Reducing dependency on far-off goods could be tough, but adequate planning can help. Local farming and roof gardens can be encouraged to increase food security. Mismanagement of waste also leads to infectious diseases owing to unsanitary conditions. Promotion of localized composting facilities can eliminate the decaying of organic waste and reduce the number of vehicular trips to the landfills, thereby reducing the emissions as well. 4. Focus on buildings and utilities. The average human spends 90% of his time indoors and most of the buildings do not get adequate ventilation and daylight for the health of the occupants. While most of the windows are not opened because of glare or dust accumulation, planting trees adjacent to windows can be a good measure to prevent entry of dust through the windows. The shade provided by trees can also help in curbing the glare from the windows. Now, in case 
of mechanically cooled buildings where chilled air is provided by split units or a centralized air conditioning system, it is necessary to regularly maintain the equipment and clean the filters. In most of the cases, negligence in maintaining these systems can lead to the growth of fungus and molds which the occupants will end up breathing. Centralized air conditioning can also tend to recirculate viruses since their filters are too large to capture them. Hence, MERV filters could be used in centrally air conditioning systems or dedicated outer air systems can be used in mechanical cooled buildings in addition to radiant cooling systems. Office buildings should also encourage distancing protocols to prevent the spread of communicable diseases by tweaking their layout. Multiple transition spaces like staircases and lifts can be made to prevent the rush as well. Renewable energy can be helpful in the case of unprecedented events during a pandemic such as failure in energy supplies. Hence, the ideal city should mandate building regulations green buildings and wellness standards for all its buildings which are to adhere to the latest health and safety protocols and the standards as well. So to conclude, the COVID-19 situation has exposed several weaknesses in the livelihood and the lifestyle of urban people. The ideal pandemic proof city is designed keeping in mind several zoning strategies to ease the social distancing measures localization of food, materials and waste and mandating construction of green buildings with wellness standards. In addition to several design and implementation measures, qualified personnel in the authorities have a huge, huge role to engage the citizens in the events of emergencies and educate them through guidance and instruction as in the case of South Korea, which managed to curb the rise of the infection through proper communication with its citizens. While we live in the century that has already faced multiple pandemics, it is essential to view this as an opportunity rather than a threat and move towards a better standard of living. So guys, this is all for today. Give a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to the Agraria YouTube channel if you haven't already. We will be back soon with our next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe and as usual, keep learning. Bye-bye.